All right, it is time to start doing some grilling the way it ought to be. We're having a lot of fun yeah, here on are. the Food City Fan Stage, and we're joined now by Chef Tony Mamarello. I know he's getting ready for St. Patrick's Day and race weekend, a lot of fun stuff. It is, and what would St. Patrick's Day be without corned beef and cabbage? You right? gotta have it. Gotta have it. We gotta yes. have it, but we're racing, so we gotta do it a little different. Okay. You should know by now, I don't like to do anything. He's always outside no, well, the box. He really, he so, really does. So Which we, we could, love. We yes. could do traditional corned beef and cabbage with just roasted potatoes. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do a little different. Okay. Instead of cabbage, we're gonna do Brussels sprouts. Ooh. Oh. So we're gonna do some sauteed Brussels sprouts with bacon and hot honey. Ooh, Instead of our traditional yeah. potatoes, we're going to potato cakes. Nice! Okay. I love potato cakes. And then we're going to do a Reuben. But we're not okay. going to do a little Reuben, we're going to do a, a Reuben. stack of a Reuben. We're going to do a Reuben. <laughs> and um, I love a good Reuben, especially <laughs> St. Patrick's Day. It, nice way to do it. Perfect that. time of year for okay. it. So um, to start, we're actually going to take our Brussels sprouts. And all we did was take them, shave them really, really thin. Okay. We're going to throw them right on our hot grill. The hotter your grill, the better. They just take a little bit of time. We're not going to do anything with them except put a little bit of oil on the grill. Let them start to saute. Okay. Super, super simple and easy to work with. And I'm loving that you're using your grill here the, again, the griddle. You said this really opens up opportunities. This is fantastic. Anything that you can cook in a cast iron pan at home, right. you can cook on this flat top. Okay. okay. Um, about the only thing you can't do with it is boil water. Right. <laughs> Other than that, no problems. So I have some mashed potatoes that I had left over from dinner, like everyone else does. I added a little bit of flour to them and some cheese. Okay. We're just going to put them right on our griddle. They should start to brown up. They'll heat up for us, and they'll make the simplest potato pancakes we'll ever try. I tell you what, that just brings back so many memories, it I really think, for does. people. You shared memories, oh, yeah. I shared My memories. My mom, if we had leftover mashed potatoes, which was not often, right. but if we did, she made potato cakes out of them, and it's okay. wonderful. Simple way to work with it. It makes it really, really, really easy to do. Um, so our Brussels, they'll start to cook as soon as they hit that hot oil, and they're gonna fry. It's really personal preference. I like to get them to where they're hot, Right. but they're still a little bit crunchy. Uh -huh. I, got you. I don't want to get them to where they're completely mush or they're falling apart. It's just got to have that crunch and it's kind of that newer style in what we're doing. Um, one more thing I want to do real quick. We're talking about Rubens and we're going to make Rubens here in a minute, but I want to make a plate for you. Simple way to make kind of a snack or an appetizer okay. is with some tortillas. All right. nice. So we can do Rubens. They don't have to be the traditional way. We can simply warm up our tortillas. Uh -huh. We'll throw a little bit of corned beef right on our grill. We have our sauerkraut, our Swiss cheese, Here and go. we'll make a tiny bit of a Reuben. Can hold that for you? Kind of like bite size. Oh, nice. Now, so, this is kind of reminding me of what you did for us last race. You're right. It which is. Which was decadent. Fantastic, right? Oh, my gosh. So, we don't need so quite as much corned beef. Okay. Because we're just making it like an appetizer. Right. Makes it a little bit easier to work with. We have our sauerkraut. The nice mm. part about the sauerkraut is that moisture that's in that uh -huh. will actually help steam it okay. and heat it up for us. Now, if you like sauerkraut. Love sauerkraut. Lots. If you don't like sauerkraut, you can leave it off. This is where we diverge. I know. Okay? She loves okay. sauerkraut. Not one of my favorites. Well, we'll leave it off this one for you. Oh, right. Aw, isn't he sweet? He is very nice. He's and then good to us. We have our is. Thousand Island dressing. Oh, A little God, bit of Thousand that. Island, and I like my thick cheese. <laughs> Chris is like, okay, more Thousand Island, a less, little less sauerkraut. Less sauerkraut. <laughs> um, it works really simple. And if you were having a party, if you're having a tailgate, if you want something quick, the faster this goes on this flat top, the sooner it heats right. up. It works really, really easy to do. Now, when it comes to corned beef and sandwiches, uh -huh. if you're gonna eat corned beef, like with potatoes, you want a thick slice of corned beef. Right. When it comes to sandwiches, your corned beef needs to be shaved Thin. As thin as humanly possible. Okay. The thinner you get it, the faster it cooks, the easier it is to eat, and it has a lot better flavor. Oh, nice. The okay. other nice part about it is once this starts to heat up, it'll actually help melt your cheese on your little tortillas. Ooh, yeah. Oh. And in a matter of a few seconds, we're starting to make um, an appetizer. That looks right. so good. <laughs> now, got to flip those Brussels. We'll brown. flip our Brussels, and you'll see they're starting to brown. Yep. As they're starting to brown, I have some bacon that I cooked off already, uh, but I'm going to add that bacon right to them. And then as Got that bacon to. warms up, that little <laughs> bit of bacon fat is going to help us flavor those. Um, it should help us <clears throat> add a little more moisture to them, help them soften up a little bit. And well, I don't know who doesn't like bacon in food. Oh, oh absolutely. Bacon, yeah. I think bacon makes the Brussels sprouts kind of, you know, yes. come to life. And it made them trendy. Before that, everybody was like, Brussels right. sprouts, now they're all cool. Right. And then he's going to add some hot honey to that, which is going to take it up a Another not. We yeah. are. I heard you all might be doing some heat tasting later, so I figured yeah. I'd warm these up a little early. A little chilly. We're okay. baby stepping into our chili cook-off yes. is what we're doing. Yes, yeah. so we're gonna we're gonna e ease our way into that. So as you can uh, see, that didn't take long for that cheese to melt on there yeah, either. That cheese is melting great. 
Tony, this is like changing my life right now. <laughs> like it, I love a good simple. Reuben, but sometimes it's hard with the specialty bread and yes. the toasting. But something like that is so easy. Very easy, especially if you got a flat top <gasps> like this. Oh, there you and go. it'll make a gigantic mess. We'll cut yeah. them up for you in just a <laughs> second. Look at the cheese that and cheese the Thousand Island. That, yeah. It's like oozing. It is. <laughs> Very good. It'll make a big old happy okay. mess, which we is my favorite to way to eat. I mean, look at that. All right. That Man, looks those so look, good. Those look delicious, Tony. Okay. So, All right. with our potato cakes and with our Brussels, we really just want to wait. All okay. Right. Well, we're going to wait for a minute because we've got to take a break right now. Perfect timing, right? All right. We'll be back with more <laughs> grilling the way it ought to be with Food City right here at Chef Tony coming up in just a few moments.